Hello, Nick's here with two minutes on masking in After Effects. I'm going to do a simple mask here where I take the Adobe text out and I then hide the logo, kind of like a very simple logo drop. Um, I already have my text typed out, so I'm going to go to my text layer right here. And what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and open it up. I'm going to create a mask on this layer of the text. If I have the layer highlighted and I go to take my shape layer, I'm not creating a new layer. I can create a mask. I'm going to take a. I'm going to create a mask so that when it hits the logo here, it kind of falls off the page. And I'm going to go ahead and pull that mask off into the left. Well, that's a little bit off. That's okay. Um, right now it is masking the text out, so I'm going to go ahead and click this inverted so that I can see the text. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this animate icon right here and I'm going to go ahead and click animate and I'm going to play with the position. I want it to move off of the screen. So let's set a keyframe for where it is right now. Let's move myself ahead in time and then let's change the position so that it slides to the left behind the Adobe icon. Let's do that. Slide it to the left behind the Adobe icon. It's pretty large. That's why it's taking me a hot minute to do this. And are we almost out? My mouse doesn't want to go much further. And there we are. So let's go ahead and play that back. And you can see that the Adobe is getting revealed. That is a mask within a layer. That's a real simple way to bring it out. Now, if I wanted to bring it back, right, to have it kind of pop in and then pop back out again, I can go ahead and copy this keyframe here, Command-C to copy. Make sure that I'm, I've am i have this whole section highlighted, Command-V to paste. And then if I wanted to, always a good idea, F9, uh, select them, and F9 to Easy Ease or right-click with your mouse, Keyframe Assistant, and Easy Ease. This bar right here is the total playback or the total, well actually it's like the total length of your video. So because I only have this little bit, let's go back and play this and see that Adobe kind of slide in and slide back out. There we go. A little, little fast, but you get the idea, right? Okay, there's another way to mask. And in this other way to mask, I want to take the Adobe logo and kind of pop it down. It's going to go out and off the screen. All right, I'm on my logo layer here. I am going to create a new layer, a new shape layer. Okay, and this shape layer is going to be my mask. Um, I'm going to go ahead and draw a, the shape within that layer. So let's say I want it to like kind of fall down here, right? Let's have it fall down here. Or you actually, you know what? Let's let's do this. Let's have it um, kind of reveal itself. So let's do this. Okay, there we go. Now in my logo layer, I'm going to go to my logo layer and I'm going to go down and toggle um, my different options that are down here in the timeline. And I want to change this one right here, right, my track mat, so that I am tracking shape layer one, which is my logo. All right, now at this point, I'm going to be moving the logo, right, not the mask, because the mask is right there, I believe. Let's let's try it, right? I, everything happens with experimentation. Okay, so I want it to go down. Let's see, and there it goes. So, it go, oh, you know what? I didn't move myself ahead in time. Rule number one, okay, set my keyframe. I move myself ahead in time. Oh, they're both going to happen at the same time. It's pretty cool. Let's move this bad boy down. He's going to go down and hide himself. And then let's move myself ahead in time again. And then I can fix the timing and, and make it right, right, kind of so that it sides together. Command-C to copy. Make sure that I have this layer highlighted. Command-V to paste. And then go ahead and throw your keyframe assistant on all of those. Right-click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And let's see what we got. We got a little double animation happening there. All right, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to see more cool things that you can do with the Adobe programs. Have a great day.